In today's video, we will cover five super simple and completely legal ways to never pay a fee for overweight or oversized carry-on luggage. Assuming you don't have any luggage to check, you can go straight to the security gates without having to speak to anyone in person at the airport. The staff at the airport security screening do not care about how much you are bringing with you. They only care that your liquids are within the carry-on liquid limit and that you don't have any prohibited items. If you are unable to check in for your flight online, you can try using one of the self-service kiosks at the airport before you have to go to the check-in desk and have an agent manually check you in for the flight. If you are still unable to check in for the flight by using the self-serve kiosk and you happen to be lucky enough to be traveling with a companion, consider watching each other's suitcases while you go to the check-in counter one by one. It's always a good idea to either print your boarding pass off at home or at one of these self-serve machines as then you can have it with you in a case where your phone were to die or if the digital code did not scan. Let us know down in the comments if you always carry a physical boarding pass as well. The second simple travel tip to avoid paying any carry-on luggage fee would be to absolutely maximize your personal item allowance. The luggage that you carry onto a plane usually includes a carry-on size suitcase that will go in the overhead bin and then a personal item bag that is meant to fit under the seat in front of you. Start by checking the personal item limits with the airline that you are flying with. The photos of suggested personal items are often things like a small purse or a laptop bag. Don't let this throw you off. Look at the personal item dimensions and take the largest bag that you possibly can within the airline's rules. It has much more space to it than a purse or a laptop would and I have never had any trouble carrying this onto the plane as a personal item. The next simple tip to never have to pay for carry-on luggage fees would be to maximize your own personal apparel by bringing a waist fanny pack. Stylish. There are no restrictions to bringing a fanny pack onto an airplane and you can usually get away without it counting towards your carry-on or your personal item allowance. Stay low key and cover it with a jacket to be extra safe. You may also want to consider bringing a branded bag with you, such as a Starbucks takeaway bag, since anything that you purchase at the airport is not counted towards your carry-on limit. This means that even if you arrive to check in for your flight and you have a Starbucks bag in your hand, the bag isn't going to be weighed or counted towards your carry-on. In theory, you could fill it with whatever you wanted. Just make sure the brand of the bag matches an actual shop at the airport you are flying out of. You can also put additional items in a branded bag when you go to board the plane, as this is another time that you may be stopped for having an oversized or overweight carry-on. The next easy tip to avoid any carry-on luggage fees would be to arrive at the airport early and then prepare for the worst. This could be five tips in one, and I would be shocked if one of these emergency hacks does not work for you. These hacks are for when you know that your carry-on luggage is either overweight or oversized, and you see the passengers ahead of you having their bags in inspected. Here's what you can do. Start by moving things around. You can redistribute items from your carry-on suitcase into your personal item bag. Your personal item bag is often not weighed or inspected. You could even consider redistributing items from your carry-on suitcase into your checked suitcase if you have one and you haven't dropped it yet. You could even redistribute items among your travel companions if they happen to have a little bit of extra space. Something I've done many times is going overboard with wearing things. Layer up since anything you are wearing is not going to count towards your luggage limit. Put your neck pillow around your neck as you go to board the plane, take an extra pair of sweatpants out of your bag and put them over your travel pants, and then fill your pockets and your travel partner's pockets. You may also want to consider throwing something away. Carry-on luggage fees could be as high as 75 US dollars and it might be worth ditching an old pair of heavy hiking boots instead of having to pay the fee. Let us know down in the comments if you have ever had to pay for overweight carry-on luggage. Hopefully never again. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Happy travels. Bye.